Good morning, dear students, and welcome back to our reader's lessons, Jane Eyre. Okay, as we learned in the past lesson that Jane was living with her rich aunt, Mrs. Reed, and her three cousins who treated her very badly. And when her cousin John hurt her, she woke up to find herself in bed with the doctor. And the doctor asked her if she was unhappy. And when she confessed to be, he suggested that she would go to lower school. Now, in this lesson, in the following pages, we're going to learn her journey in the lower school. How was it for her? If she was any happier, managed to fit in and create friends? And how was the teacher in this, this school? So let's read together and learn more in our story. At last it was time for breakfast. I was now very hungry. We went into the dining room with the teachers. There was a terrible smell of burning food. We were all hungry, but when we tasted the food, we could not eat it. It tasted terrible. Feeling very hungry, we all left the dining room. At nine o'clock, lessons began again. I looked round at the other girls. They looked very strange in their ugly brown dresses. I did not like the teachers. They seemed to be unkind and unfriendly. Then, at twelve o'clock, the head teacher, Miss Temple, came in. She was very pretty, and her face was kind. I want to speak to all the girls, she said. I know that you could not eat your breakfast this morning, she told us. So now you will have some bread and cheese and a cup of coffee. The other teachers looked surprised. I'll pay for this meal, Miss Temple said. The girls were very pleased. After this meal, we went out into the garden. The girls' brown dresses were too thin for the cold winter weather. Most of the girls looked cold and unhappy, and some of them looked very ill. I walked around and looked at the girls, and at the school and the garden. But I did not speak to anyone, and nobody spoke to me. One of the girls was reading a book. Is your book interesting? I asked her. I like it, she answered. Does this school belong to Miss Temple? I asked. No, it doesn't, she answered. It belongs to Mr Brocklehurst. He buys all our food and all our clothes. The girl's name was Helen Burns. She was older than I was. I liked her immediately. She became my friend. Helen told me that many of the girls were ill because they were always cold and hungry. Mr Brocklehurst was not a kind man. The clothes he bought for the girls were not warm enough for the winter, and there was never enough food to eat. After a few months, many of the girls at Lowood School became seriously ill. Lessons stopped, and I and the other girls, who were not ill, spent all our time out in the fields near the school. The weather was now warm and sunny. It was a happy time for us, but my friend Helen Burns was not with us. She had to stay in bed. She was very ill. One evening I went to Miss Temple's room. Helen Burns was lying there in a little bed. She was now very thin, and her face was white. She spoke to me in a low voice. Jane, she said, it's good to see you. I want to say goodbye to you. Why? I asked her. Are you going away? Yes, I am, Helen answered. I'm going far away. That night she died. During that summer, many other girls in the school died too. Mr. Brocklehurst sold the school, and it became a happier place. I stayed at the school until I was eighteen, and then I had to find a job. I wanted to become a teacher. I wrote a letter to a newspaper. I said I was a young teacher who wanted a job working in a family. Then I waited for an answer. At last an answer came. It was from a lady, Mrs. Fairfax, who lived at a place called Thornfield Hall. 
she needed a teacher for a little girl, so I packed my clothes in a small bag and travelled to Thornfield Hall. I felt very excited when I arrived at Thornfield Hall. The house was large, but it seemed very quiet. Mrs Fairfax met me at the door. She was an old lady with a kind face. Sit down, Miss Eyre, she said. You look tired after your journey. Later you will meet Adele. Is Adele my student? I asked. Yes, she is. She is French. Mr Rochester wants you to teach her English. Who is Mr Rochester? I asked. Mrs Fairfax looked surprised. Did you not know? Thornfield Hall belongs to Mr Rochester, she answered. I only work for him. Is Mr Rochester here now? I asked. No, he is away. He does not come very often to Thornfield. I do not know when he will return. Later I met Adele. She was a pretty little girl. I spoke to her in French and began to teach her English. She enjoyed her lessons and I enjoyed teaching her. I liked Adele and I liked Mrs Fairfax too. It was quiet at Thornfield Hall and sometimes I felt a little bored, but everybody was kind to me there. Okay, thank you for reading. Now let's look at the questions and try to answer them together. Okay, so we're going to start from the very beginning, pages one to seven. Before you read, look at the word list at the back of this book, check the words in your dictionary and answer these questions. Okay, this is for you to do at home. So I'm going to leave this part for you to check and answer from your book. Now let's go to the following question. While you read, write the name of the person from the story who? A, is Jane's rich aunt. Okay, who is Jane's rich aunt? That's correct. The answer is Mrs. Reed. Okay, is Jane's cruel cousin? Who is Jane's cruel cousin? Yes, John Reed is her cruel cousin. He used to beat her with the book. Okay, who suggests that Jane should go away to school? Okay, this is the doctor who came to treat her after John has hurt her. It's a kind head teacher at Lowood School. Yes, that's correct. It's Mrs. Temple. But who owns Lowood School? It's Mr. Brock Brocklehurst. Is Jane's friend at school? Who became fr Jane's friend? Yes, it's Helen Burns. And who answers Jane's letter when she wanted a job at the end? Yes, this is Mrs. Fairfax from Thornfield Hall. Now, after you read, let's discuss these questions. Why is Jane unhappy with her aunt and cousin? Of course, we know that, that her aunt was rich and the house was big and beautiful. However, they treated her badly, so she was very unhappy with them. Okay, is life better or worse for Jane at Lowood and why? Well, it was better, even though that they had little to eat and the girls were very thin clothes and they felt cold. Still, the head teacher, Mrs. Temple, was kind and Helen finally managed to have a friend. Her name was Helen Berman. Okay, following question. Why does Jane leave the school and go to Thornfield Hall? Because now Jane has grown up and she is ready to work. So she has to go, she has to leave the school and search for a job. And this is what she did. And finally, after searching for a job by sending a letter to the newspaper, she finally received an answer by a woman called Mrs. Fairfax. And she wanted a teacher for a French girl in a house called Thornfield Hall. Okay, now we're going to discuss together. Okay, and compare between Mrs. Reed and Mr. Brocklehurst. Well, they were both rich people, 
Mrs. Reed was Jane's rich aunt and Mr. Blockerhurst was also the owner of Lowood School. So they were bo both rich and I think they were both cruel because Mrs. Reed didn't treat Jane very fairly or in a good way. And so Mr. Blockerhurst didn't give so much money for the food or clothes for the girls in the school. Okay, now we're going to compare between John Reed and Helen Burns. John was Jane's cousin and he was cruel. He always annoyed her and hit her with the books, while Helen Burns was immediately a friend to Jane. They had the common interest of reading books and they talked a lot and they were good friends. So Helen was a good person while John wasn't. Okay, and this is the end of our lesson today. I hope that you enjoyed it and let's wait for further details and more pages into our interesting story. Goodbye, students.